getting ready for day two here on the Polaris. Just stopping at full speed here quick because I need some Polaris oil and a belt and a couple other things that I forgot to buy when I picked up the sled. Polaris things. Check this out. job for you oh already no it's a softer spring because these over rev a lot okay so for the elevation we ride at i was suggest to swap the spring to a 120 320 uh see how it works that's how you do it you brace yourself against your snowmobile push with your knee a couple it's threads like, like clockwork just gotta get a couple in that looks cross threaded. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'll get back to it. Hey, it's not his sled. Yeah. We'll yeah. see what the drill says. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Another beautiful day up on the mountain here. Looks like it's just straight blue up top. Hopefully it clouds over. <laughs> Uh, we're riding with Dallas, Cody, Derek, Cole, Doug, and Jerry. The plan for today was to go up here and do a bit of a glacier tour, and it's looking like there might be some tracks going up here already. The good thing about this year is the creeks are pretty filled in because it was really cold and wow that's really cool. Ah <laughs> oh, man, these tracks do go this way. First time going in here where we've had other tracks. Thought about just going to another zone. The people that uh, put these tracks in are probably watching the video laughing at us. <laughs> it's a beautiful day though. I think there should be a little waterfall up here. We could go see if we can find it. so small down there. Put some pillows into perspective. I should have just held on it. I shouldn't have let up. <laughs> I can keep up you a lot better on the 900. Yeah, NA versus NA today. I like it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard and I was going to get traction. <laughs> There's a cliff there!
<laughs> like a pro. Look at that. It's almost more fun with the rods. It makes it <laughs> more interesting. Okay, we'll try and follow Don Dallas on his non-turbo skidoo. <laughs> oh, there's Cody. <laughs> I think that still wants to go up. <laughs> It looks doable up through there, but... but a little bit sketchy. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's crazy. It kind of looks steep from here, but from on the hill, it doesn't. I think you're good, eh? I thought we usually go up through the boulders. Yeah, it looks a lot more, I don't know. Not as filled in this year, I guess. Holy crap. That hole's like 15 feet deep there. came all the way into here but I guess they couldn't get past that last section and they just turned around wow we'll go uh, pave the trail for these guys yeah it's easy there's just one spot we might have to shovel Make a second low line through here. That's reverse. <laughs> Jesus. If I had a thumb throw, I'd be right over the bars. Hey, Dallas! Yo. Coming? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cody! What are you doing? I'm almost out. Small hole. Just a little one. How deep does it go? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to find out. No, me either. And there's water running. Beautiful. <laughs> well, we're trying to make a quick rip for the alpine so we can get into some sun. Have some lunch.
Cody, what the fuck's going on here? Uh, I got no answers for you. <sighs> yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Doesn't look so good. Go see where the guys are. They were right behind me. Okay, ultimate vantage point from here. Let's go, Jerry! So who saw me? Huh? Who saw me? What? Not one of you guys saw me. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Where? I filmed every one of your runs up that chute. Really? Oh, well, I knew you were on the right. I seen on the gauge. Yeah, but you didn't see me. No. As if we didn't oh, see you. You're way up in the pillow. Just like every time they come up here. We gotta go check out the glacier now. I know you guys have seen this before, but uh, I never get tired of it, so hopefully you don't either. <laughs> I just want to mention here because it looks like I'm in some pretty big terrain. Uh, just because you see me going into a place like this doesn't mean it's safe. There's lots of areas around BC right now that if you were to do this type of thing, you would 100% trigger an avalanche. So play it safe and know your snow that you're riding. See more and more every year. I climbed right up through there.
it's all frozen to my mustache. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Where does she go when we need them? Does it? Yeah. Take a picture. <laughs> what do you got there? We got somebody that fell into the glacial fields and we're going to lower him a safety kit. <laughs> okay, then. Dude, this isn't you being like a... 14 year old boy? Absolutely not. This is life and death situation. <laughs> what do you think? 40 feet about? 50 foot rope. We've got 10 feet of slack from the top here, so. Wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, that's what we're riding over. Okay, we've had enough of being on the glacier. Let's get off here, back on the land. out here. NA versus NA. We're gonna just race. Yeah, probably the gearing.
There's another zone over this ridge. I wanted to see if we could get to it. <laughs> Major arm pump. I'm over running like crazy. <laughs> we're not too far. We're four. Oh, we're still, we're still quite a ways. And it gets steeper if you look at the lines. Try and go a little bit higher. It gets really steep now. <laughs> Looking at the trees, you can tell it gets way steeper, just like right here. Take a peek up there. I, I, I think this is pretty much as high as we could go, but even down looks scary. Down looks really scary. <laughs> Especially in ice. I thought Cody was with you for some reason. No. I think I hear him down there. We'll just head down then. It's time to head out. Solid day, 78.8 kilometers on the sled and 64.8 on the GPS. Well, good ride today. We got Jerry tagging along with us since he's he's got no friends to drive in his truck. So tagging on the good ride today or what? Awesome ride. Yeah. One of our uh, all-time favorite rides. Yeah, it's a classic tour. Yeah. Once a year. Yeah, place your own boulder. <laughs> <laughs> 